Is it on yet? They're wrapping it up right now. On the Northwestern. We have a welder in the water. He's installing some line cutters for us. They really look like a set of scissors, almost. I fished Golden King Crab years ago. This does bring back memories. Our dad and I were together. It's open access, and you can attack and get what you get. Fifth generation Norwegian fisherman and 33-year veteran Captain Sig Hansen and his daughter Mandy ready the boat to hunt a species it hasn't fished since 1988. Line cutters are all installed. Where are we starting? Most of the fleet is going to be out east. They're fishing Baird Eye. We, on the other hand, are going to follow that deep edge all the way up to the Russian border, way up on top. We're going to be up there by ourselves? No. We've got the hill strands. John? Not just John. with Sig for the Golden King Crab Fishery. Andy Hillstrand is in Dutch Harbor. He's on my boat right now. Captain Jonathan Hillstrand. We need more blue! Is joined by his brother Andy. I'm in it! Woo! For the first time since 2016. Where the hell have you been? Welcome back. For 28 years. <laughs> And he earned a reputation for explosive pots and, well, Get em, boys. explosives. Jubilee, I'm excited because this is open access. You go out, the best fisherman wins. This is the real deal. Now the old school derby style fishery lures him back into the saddle. Back in the day when you saw the hill strands around, I mean, they were pretty crazy but they've matured a lot over the years. Push it away if you like it. Keep it there if you want more. That's right. That's right. Push it away if you like it. Keep it there if you want more. I'm not touching you. I'm not. Mom! Ow! Oh. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Jonathan here. Well, so what's the plan, man? What about bait? I haven't been able to find anything here in town. How'd you guys do? I ordered it last year, and Trident's been holding it for me. They put up about 10,000 pounds, and I only ordered like 65, so I can split it with you and give you five. That's awesome. I love it. No problem. I'll, I'll, get, I'll pick it up tomorrow, and I'll, I'll have them set some aside for you. That's a huge help, John. Thank you. Yep. No, I'm glad you're on board. We can work together. <laughs> you, Hanson. <laughs> well, Andy just said he loves you. <laughs> so. Just tell, just tell Sig I'll take care of him. I'll give him all the info he needs. All right, buddy. We'll see you up there. All right, guys. Good luck. All joking aside, we need to do a lot better than what we did last year if we're going to survive. Yeah. This is like we're back to ground zero 30 years ago, first king crab season. You remember that last time. Us brothers are with Dad. Yep. And we fit and the last time we went fishing with Dad. And uh, I'll tell you what, we need to be together now to pull this off. This boat's gonna need you as much as I need you. That's all. I haven't I seen you in dude. seven years, dude. Seven years. Seven years. I miss you, man. Look at you. I've been I haven't lapsed so much. Yeah. I haven't had I've been so been much fun in one day. One day. <laughs> On the Northwestern. Because Golden King Crab is an open access fishery right now, I want to participate in that right away. I'm going to run down to the dock here. 
the guys are going to get these boxes of frozen cod, and then we can go. With $2.2 million of Golden King crab ready to harvest in the Derby fishery, it's a race to gear up and ship out. We were supposed to have that frozen cod in half. He was supposed to take 5,000. We were going to take 5,000. All of it? Well, it's supposed to be. Well, so this guy's saying that Jonathan took all of it. There's no bait here for us. I thought they separated it, too. So they did. Northwestern and Time Bandit. They did. That was the plan. No, it came from Akatan, and the guy told me yesterday there was five pallets. That's two and a half each. So he took all of it. Hello, Time Bandit. John, I'm at the OSI dock. Did you take all the hanging bait? No, no, I, they, they didn't put up 10,000 pounds. They only put up the 65 that I wanted. So I, I, I took it all. They, they told me I had 10, they only had six. So you took the six and I got nothing? Yeah, because I ordered, I special ordered this a year ago and then I've been up on them and it's, it's only 6,500 pounds of fish. Okay, man. Sorry about the mix-up. Sorry? You f me. I'm not a bad person. I didn't f you over. I thought they gave me too much fish. Then I found out I didn't have the fish. He's so full of I want to get there. So. I'm going to go kick his <laughs> right now. He, he blocked me. I had to especially have them put it up for me. Well, how are we going to get started with no beef? Well, how are you going to get started 10 days ago? It was only two nights ago I told you I had some fish for you, so you didn't have any other options going on at that time. Hanging up. Yeah. I just hung up on him. Yeah. Not yeah. listen to that. Yeah. Have a what are you going to do now? Yeah. Well, what were you going to do two days ago? Well, when Sig's talking to you, that's a different deal. Well, when a crew that member talks to you, what? Uh, that was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. She's a crew member. All right. <laughs> you going to start at the dock? All right, fine. I'll make do. All right, let's get this show on the road. After months of preparation and tens of thousands of dollars spent on fuel, food, and bait. We're a little behind schedule. Jonathan kind of double crossed us and we're lucky just to get these scraps that we can find. The Bering Sea Fleet throws lines. Yay! Yay! He showed his colors.